We've been on a technology kick lately here at the Stumpy Nubs Workshop. Last week, we made an electronics valet, which is a fancy way of saying cell phone holder. And this week, I'm thinking laptop case. Stumpy uses his laptop in the shop every day. I don't understand it, but I haven't understood a whole lot since the 60s. Don't let him fool you. He didn't understand the 60s either. Hey, I know how to watch videos on the YouTubes now. We're going to start with some three-quarter inch hardwood. I'm going to use maple because it smells like pancakes. Unfortunately, maple isn't as cheap as Stumpy is, so we're going to make it go farther by resawing. I prefer to resaw on the bandsaw, but for the narrow stock, Stumpy likes the table saw. He says it's because he gets a cleaner cut, and I think it's because he likes those push sticks. The plan is to turn that three-quarter inch maple into one half inch and one quarter inch -ish stock. The half inch will be for the case and the quarter inch is going to be for the dividers. You'll see. He's always saying you'll see. I never have any idea what's going on with the project until the end. All I ever see is him making it up as he goes along. I have never steered him wrong. Almost never. What about the wooden toilet incident of 1995? It's okay if you're not exactly at half inch and quarter inch with your stock. You're going to lose some with the saw curve anyway. You just want to make sure that your thick pieces are all the same thickness and your thin pieces are all the same thinness. It's going to make it a lot easier to do the rest of the project. You'll see. All right. The idea here is to make an attaché case that will fit your laptop with a little extra room for some various compartments. Attaché case? What are we, CIA? So we're going to need some mitered corners. I hate cutting miters. If you're off a degree or one piece is just a little short, you're done. So setup is critical with this kind of thing. And I also like to use a stop block on the fence of my miter gauge to keep the stock from kind of pushing away from the blade a little bit and messing everything up when you cut. It's also a good idea to cut close to your lines on one pass and then make a final skim cut to finish up. <laughs> he wants you to think that that tip's his, but he got it from a Charles Neal video. Well, I sure didn't get a tip like that from a Stumpy Nubs video. We're also going to need some rabbits to hold the panels once the sides are assembled. We're going to use quarter inch birch plywood to make those panels because it's like half the price of the maple and it looks pretty much the same. Because the outer panels are sitting in a rabbit rather than a groove, it's critical that it's sized correctly. Too big and the mitered corners won't fit together. Too small and you'll have an unsightly gap along the edge. So take your time fitting it. And I get to tend them rabbits, George. But don't glue in the rabbits yet. You can use the panel to help score up your sides. But once they're clamped, take the panels out because we're not done with them yet. Time to cut some dados. Now, if your thin stock is exactly a quarter inch, you can use your router table for this. But since we resawed our stock, I'm betting it's not exactly a quarter inch. In fact, mine is a little thinner than what my dado set will do. So I'm just going to have to run it in two curves with a saw blade. Where you cut your grooves depends on the size of your laptop. You want a nice fit to keep it from rattling around. After the grooves are cut, we can glue those panels in place. That's going to make it easier to double check the length of our dividers before we glue those in place too. But since the dividers will be so close, we also have to make some cutouts so we can still have access to all the ports on the sides. If a road runs along a river, there is usually a bridge nearby. No need to jump across from log to crocodile. Frogger was such an idiot. If you ever hear a story about some old lady with a strange furry thing growing out of her lower back, don't get freaked out. It's just an old wives' tale. This thing is turning into way more than a laptop case. It's more like a mobile desk. We've got trays for all sorts of junk. I've even made some little compartments in the back for memory sticks and pens, mini candy bars, all the stuff that you're going to need. There's even a compartment for some papers right behind the monitor. And when you're done working, you can put your mouse and your power cord inside, fold it up, and you're on your way. You know, I have to admit, I was skeptical when Stumpy told me what we were going to make this week. But now that it's done, I want one too. So I'm going to head over to StumpyNubs.com and get me a set of plans and to check out all the rest of the new stuff that's been posted there this past week. 
We really appreciate all the comments and thumbs up you guys gave us last week. So hit us up again if you can. And don't forget to watch Mustache Mike's Corner, which is coming up tomorrow. And really soon comes the next episode of the Old Timey Workshop. So we'll see you then.